Kia guys, I, uh, I just installed the new BlackBerry bridge on my, uh, on my 9900. Um, I do have a playbook, I did do the OS2 update as well, and I saw um, on CrackBerry that they worked out how to use the BlackBerry to control any other Bluetooth device, including a Motorola Zoom, which I also have with me as well. There's a few things that they did leave out, and I saw people in the comments who had some questions, so I'm going to run through the more setting up part of actually how to, how to use this on any other device, so just check this out. All right, so that's the uh, Motorola Zoom, and I've got the 9900 in my hand. Now, one of the things I wanted to show you is um, once you actually install the new bridge uh, client on the BlackBerry, you don't immediately see the remote control app. And now, here's why: when you go into the bridge for the first time, um, you know when you turn the bridge on and you try to use the remote control, it wants you to pair with a uh, with a playbook. So what you need to do is you have to pair it with a playbook before the remote control app shows up. So I've connected it with a playbook here. Um, I don't regularly use it, so I just paired it the one time and was able to get the remote control app. If you don't have a playbook, go into a store and where they've got a playbook set up, quickly pair it, and then you'll, uh, you'll have access to the app. So once you do that, then you can go into the remote control app. Now, with that said, that's still not completely done. Um, you still need to pair the two devices together. So just as you would in um, uh, on your tablet, whether it's tablet, PC, or whatever, you just need to have a paired connection. And I'm just going to connect the two up now. Okay, cool. So they're now paired. So they're paired. So when I go into the remote control app now, you'll see straight away it's got the Motorola Zoom there. And I can move a cursor around. Now, you can't really see it on the playbook that well. But if I open up some apps, you'll see I'm now actually controlling the... Uh, the Motorola Zoom. And I think that this is going to have a much more benefit for people who like to watch, um, you know, content from their playbook while it's also being shared um, with the TV. Um, and you can just sit on the couch and then just control your Zoom. I think that's where it's going to get its value from. Obviously, I can go into, you know, my media player. I'm controlling this on my BlackBerry, if you haven't noticed. There's the cursor you can see quite well. Um, you know, and you can just imagine going into your media player, picking a video or something like that, and uh, and watching it, it's actually it's actually so easy to control that um, yeah, it's hard not to like it. So anyway, that's a quick demo. Check out the Crackberry video as well, and um, be sure to leave a comment. Thanks. Also, just before I completely wrap up, um, to give you an idea of what devices it does and doesn't work on, um, it does work obviously on the Zoom. I've seen it working on PlayStation 3s. It probably won't work on Xbox just because it doesn't have Bluetooth, obviously. Um, it doesn't work on iPads because it doesn't have open HID um, Bluetooth, which is, is a real shame, but kind of unsurprising. But yeah, any Android tablet should, should be able to do it. Um, you know, Windows laptops and things like that. You should be able to have complete access through your through your BlackBerry using the remote control app. I think that's probably the best thing that's come out of uh, come out of BlackBerry recently and I'm pretty excited. So let me know what you think.